Maybe have uh, another, uh, maybe create a state park, maybe try to do more amusement uh, parks. Uh, someone even said, like, maybe you need another state prison. Who knows? I mean, I just think that the, the possibilities are, 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 are endless. And so that is now going to be analyzed to see what would make, make the most sense. It's one of the uh, latest shots that Ron DeSantis has had towards Disney in his constant fight over, I'm not lying to you in case you forgot, because it's been months and months over this pushback on folks' rights, LGBTQ plus folks' rights. And yo, it's going to far extents. Apparently floating the idea of opening prisons. You guys have seen that. But in response now, Disney's sick and tired of this. This is what's going on. Melissa, well, Disney is suing Florida Governor Ron DeSantis after just this morning, Florida's oversight board that was appointed by Governor DeSantis declared that the agreement that Disney had made back in February to retain control over its theme park's tax district, that those agreements were null and void. So now, Walt Disney Parks and Resorts is suing Governor DeSantis over his curtailing of Disney's autonomy. They're calling his board's action patently retaliatory, patently anti-business, and patently unconstitutional. And the media giant is looking for injunctive relief so it can continue to carry out its business plans. Some details of this lawsuit from Disney towards DeSantis. In this legal complaint, Disney accused DeSantis of punishing it for protected speech. Sounds pretty decent. Threatening its business operations and jeopardizing its economic future in the region and violating its constitutional rights. This is what they said. Having exhausted efforts to seek a resolution, the company is left with no choice but to file this lawsuit to protect its cast members, guests, and local development partners from a relentless campaign to weaponize government power against Disney in retaliation for expressing a political viewpoint unpopular with certain state officials. So it's a problem, as we've seen over and over and over again. It's the Don't Say Gay bill, which, of course, many uh, folks and supporters of Ron DeSantis saying, look at you guys, mis uh, uh, misappropriating the names of it and what it is we're looking to do. We just want you guys not to talk about the existence of certain folks that we think are weird, specifically based off of my religion. So American. But now it has to come after Disney because there's this big uh, entity in the state you already tried taking away that tax exempt group and that agreement they've had since 19 whenever about how they can do generally those things that they want within this one basic small town that is called Disney. But then if that's released and flipped, then uh, many folks would be on the hook for it. That's the reason why that uh, that attempt to intimidate Disney also failed. Uh, if we get to this point now, Brett, where folks have to talk about uh, Ron DeSantis, a uh, 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 wannabe fascist, to then also Disney, who has plenty of problems themselves. And I get really uncomfortable like that as well, thinking about, yo, we're over here talking about how Disney's this great entity, but really they're just trying to allow more people, let's keep it real, to visit their parks and buy their merchandise. Listen, they have great parks and they have amazing merchandise. I have no problem with that. I'm technically a Disney employee for the last, I don't even know how many years, uh, very, very technically. Um, so, and they've always been great to me, blah, blah, blah. Um, but I'm willing to have a conversation about the tax favoritism for major corporations in America. I'm willing to have that conversation. I think a lot of Americans are willing to say, how come there's a lot of handouts to big businesses? You know who's not willing to have that conversation? Ron DeSantis. He wants to have that conversation because he wants to go after woke Disney and punish woke Disney because, oh, my God, there's gay characters in the movie. I hate to break it to you. They've been woke for quite a while. They said, if you love someone, you can hump a beast. It doesn't matter. Like, you can have sex with a 16-year-old fish girl if you love her. Like, that is super-duper woke and super-duper progressive. Fine. They have a lot of weird things like Sword in the Stone and Up, which tell you to hang out with old guys who aren't your dad. That's weird. Um, but by and large, like Disney has just made a, uh, a a living and a great brand out of getting people to say, you know what, the good guy should win and the bad guy should lose. The problem is that the Republicans are the bad guys. If we were really to have an earnest conversation about tax loopholes and weird ways to defraud the people of America, Florida politicians are not the people to start that conversation. I'm looking at Rick frickin' Scott, who perpetrated mm. the largest Medicare fraud against largely retiree, all retirees, which are largely a huge chunk of Florida voters. He did that. 
if there was one ounce of integrity in Ron DeSantis's body, then he would apply it to going after people like Rick frickin' Scott, but he won't do that because it's not about that. That little twerpy wiener boy would rather pick a fight against Mickey Mouse because he can't win one against Donald Trump. Well, he's also not winning this fight either because 73% of people that were responding to this is his poll, including 82% of Democrats and 63% of Republicans. If this goes to like some general election, if he wins, gets in the race and wins the primary, said they're against people who would do something like this, going after one company for political or cultural things. There's also this one last thing. Look at this graphic, you guys, because Peter Thiel, that guy, mega donor for the Republicans, says he's not going to fund candidates in 24 because he's sick of this culture war stuff. I don't know if they're going to, maybe the money will maybe get them to realize the kinds of walls that they continue to run into.